Well, I would like to just say that I have had a wonderful time, and before we leave you, I'd like to introduce you to our band. Over on the guitar, playing fabulously, perfect, from what I can tell behind this fog of drugs. <laughs> Which is, I mean, that still counts, right? Hitting all the right notes. I want to publicly apologize to him because I did tell him I was going to drop out of going on the Niagara boat today, and then when we got there, I know Kirk, and he looked at me in the back of the car and I said, don't worry, I'm not going to do it, and then when we got there and everyone was getting ready to buy the tickets, I said, we're going, and you're going to put on the rain poncho, and it's going to be great, and uh, you laughed the hardest, I will say, on the boat getting soaked, so you had a really good time. You love your poncho. Did you keep it? You know what? I think they're all in the back of Sarah's car, so we're gonna. I they are. There's a bunch of pink plastic bags in the back of the car if you want to. <laughs> put, just look. I'll just cut you a little piece for your scrapbook. Huge round of applause for my friend. <laughs> a memory none of us will ever forget, and the internet won't either. So I'm gonna put the video up when we leave here. This man behind me also went on the boat, but he was game to do it. He did it in a, at best, spring jacket. Um, he did not have appropriate anything for this trip, but he did it with a smile on his face. He also uh, put this whole show together, helped reinvent all of these songs, and helped string it all together into an actual show. So a huge round of applause for Ben Grant's a good song. Sarah pointed this out the other night. Really the only song from If It Was You that we have played consistently since the album came out in 2002 is this last song with the band. We're going to play you just two short lullabies to get you out of the theater after, but this song is the last song we're going to play with the band, and it, it, and it, I think it's a song you'll know, and it's a song that we have, Sarah's right, consistently played, and, and um, uh, I actually had this memory the other night when we were playing it. Like, always, always played it. Did you, do you guys know that? Do you guys know the artist Melissa Farrick? Yeah. Great. We went, we just love her, and we, we did a little tour with her when we put out our album, So Jealous. And um, we were like, this is going to probably work great because she's queer, and um, I, we assumed her audience would be, you know, into us, you know, <laughs> on some level. And that, you know, there was a, we were, so we went on tour and with her, and we, we had this new album, and we were so excited about it, and it had, like, keyboards and weird sounds, and sometimes I don't know if the audience liked us, <laughs> like, to be completely honest. Uh, they were always polite, but, like, I don't think we went over gangbusters the way we thought we were going to. But one thing that I really loved about Melissa um, during her set was she had this one song, Drive, remember? And she would always play, at the end of her show, there would always be this song, and it was just like, people would go bananas for it. And um, I remember thinking, like, that kind of living room was the song that kind of would do that sometimes in our audience, where, yeah, like, no matter, no matter how the audience was receiving us, you know, on any album, it was like we would play living room and people would just get into it and so it's so weird because I've always connected living room to to Melissa Farrick and Drive on that tour and um I don't know if we pl I can't remember if we played living room on that tour but we did. We played it maybe that was one of the songs people like people liked it when we would sing nicely together but if we started singing loudly and playing keyboards the audience was like not as into it it's fine that's fine not everybody has to like everybody you know part of the journey it's part of the journey it's part of the journey and it made us tougher um, but anyways, yeah, respect to Melissa. Melissa, I love her so much, okay. And respect to Kirk and Grant for being here. This is their last song. <laughs>